everyone, it's Fairy Witch One here. Uh, I'm going to do a video today on the Dryad, if I've pronounced that correctly. Um, this goes along with the section of the faces in the bark, so I hope you enjoy. Although Dryads originated in Greek mythology, they have been accepted into the folklore of many different cultures. There are two types of Dryad. One is Wood Nymph, who can wander the forest freely. The other, the type we are most familiar with, is the, I cannot pronounce this properly, Hamadryad. The Hamadryad is attached to a particular tree and although she can leave her tree for a short period of time, she will create, cease to exist if she stays away too long. Should the tree be damaged or cut down, she takes on the injury too and dies with her tree. This illustrates clearly the magical truth behind the folklore that the elemental dryad is the life force of her tree. When talking about dryads, magical people usually refer to the first kind as a wood nymph to differentiate between the two. The spells that I will tell you utilize the powers of the hammer dryad and her tree. Although a Greek mythology Although in Greek mythology, Drus, meaning tree, is a male dryad and tree spirit, in general dryads and wood nymphs are considered to be the handmaidens and companions of Artemis, the goddess of the moon and witchcraft, and so are viewed as female energies. They are generally depicted as being female to the waist, with the long flowing hair to the fae, of the fae, usually of chestnut brown or auburn colour. Their legs become part of the tree trunk with their feet disappearing into the roots and their arms stretching out as branches. The energies of the dryad are calming and gentle although if a person intends any harm to the tree or the surrounding area they may make them feel uneasy or unwelcome. Dryads are wonderful sources of elemental power and ex excellent companions in magic. Remember to keep your visualisation strong and clear as you work with the dryad. From, from the way that I can describe them, if you want an easy one, if you've ever seen Pocahontas, the tree in Pocahontas, I'd class that as a dryad. Um, so yeah, they're the dryads. Sorry if I've pronounced it wrong. If you want, if anyone wants to make a response to this to tell me how to pronounce it properly, please do. Please feel free to do that. Um, I'll be doing a few spells involving them. And I hope you've enjoyed my video today. And bless it be.